Hello, everybody! Yes, I'm wearing a Christmas hat. <laughs> I thought I'd get in the spirit. <laughs> Um, hello everybody! I can't believe how many early birds there were today. There were a lot of you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, oh, hang on a second. I'm feeding back. I'm feeding back. There we go. That should have stopped it. Oops. Oops. I was sat in the chat chatting beforehand to have my own stream open. <laughs> Looks like flustered farms. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> we can't even see it there's no lights here yet. We didn't get very far. <laughs> the moon does look quite nice here though, I have to say. <laughs> Um, how is everybody? How is everybody? Oh my god, there's so many of you to say hello to. So we did have Franklin, Tina, Paul, Joseph, Malay, Samuel, Cal Dot as the really, really early birds. Dax as Star Stuff. Hello, Mrs. R. Bailey, welcome. Um, who else have we got? My god, Nurse Edward. Uh, Edward's here. Jude, Simon Williams. Hello, welcome in everybody. Jen's here. Um, my god, Das, welcome. So many of you, Bren, I'm gonna go and try, try and see if I can get everyone in. I might miss someone, I'm so sorry if I do. FFX, welcome in, happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays, everybody. Hope everyone's had a wonderful time. Uh, Fenrir Claire, hello, welcome. Uh, goodness, where have I got up to? <laughs> Uh, Drontilant, Merry Christmas, Han, Merry Christmas, Josh, hello, hello, hello. Um, how is everyone? Chad, welcome. Aurora, welcome. Tom, welcome. Very festive. Yeah, do we like do we like the Christmas hat? <laughs> I thought I thought I'd get festive. Why not? It, I might get a bit hot with my PC on though, so it might uh, disappear fairly quickly. We'll have to see. A few claws. Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> Yes, few claws. Merry Christmas, everybody who's here. Well, everyone who celebrates that. And happy holidays to anybody who doesn't celebrate that. Welcome in. Uh, Dave, hello. Andreas, welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, I hope everyone's had a good time. Are we lacking electricity? Like, why do my lights keep going off? I need to actually check this before we start the stream. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I think it's because it's night time, though. I think because I've got solar updraft. Makes it a little bit tricky. To manage should we have a little look yeah we're, we're still pretty on the line aren't we let's um before we even start the stream i'm just gonna plop in another sneaky little <laughs> wave power plant over here which i will do something with before Oridan ends so it's not such an eyesore <laughs> um but they work for now and they produce a lot of electricity <laughs> although my budget seems to be <laughs> dying i'm hoping that's because there's been no electric should we at least move the trees off the road as well that might be a nice start <laughs> Should have really checked this before I started streaming, shouldn't I? I just didn't have it on night time. <laughs> okay, right. We'll bring the road out like that. That's connected. Okay, hopefully electricity problems are no more. Traffic flows only at 76%. That's not great either. <laughs> we're fine for electricity now. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're back. Yes, we're at fl Flustered Farms. Do we think we have to call it that? <laughs> Um, we probably do have to call it that realistically, don't we? So there has been a couple of little changes in this area since the last stream. Now, it has grown <laughs> magically overnight. Um, the reason why <laughs> so I have gone in and plopped in the fields because I just thought, and you know what, this even this took me more than a couple of hours. So I don't know what I was thinking, thinking I could get this all done in one stream. Um, but I just thought it would give us a head start so at least we can focus on like the housing and the detailing around the farm today as opposed to plopping in endless amounts of fields and trying to make them fit so that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do um who have i missed uh Titu P. if i've said that right tilt T i'm not sure happy festivus can you make pedestrian bridge from old factory to downtown oh yes yes someone did suggest that yes we can we can absolutely do that um i'll have a look at that in a sec timothy cohen yes the, the hat yes <laughs> Oh, Jen said the podcast interview was just wonderful. Yes, if you haven't caught the podcast, there is a link to it on my community channel on YouTube. If you're on the Discord, it's also on there. Um, I yeah, I was interviewed by the Game of Friends podcast with Big Nakruma, who may may come in tonight. I don't know. He's part. He's yeah. He he like he apparently watches Oridan all the time, <laughs> which is very flattering. Um, but he's one of the Game of Friends crew, and they interviewed me. Uh, it was an awful lot of fun. Go and check it out and throw them some love. It's a great podcast to listen to as well if you're into your gaming. Um, it's a, it's yeah, they're they're just really great guys, and and it was really fun to hang out with them. So go and listen to it. You might find out a 
thing or two about me. I would say as well, if you've listened to it, listen right to the end, past the like credits music, and there's a little snapshot that you might want to hear about, which is <laughs> quite funny. <laughs> so go, you can go and check that out. Um, right, who have I, who have I missed? Thick Nick, welcome in. Peter, welcome in. Um, uh, Lordy Lord, welcome in. I hope you've had a wonderful Xmas. Yes, yeah, I've, I've, had, I've had a good one. I've had a good one. It's been a very hectic couple of days, but um, yeah, yesterday it just I had to move the stream because it just got so late and it was uh, becoming very apparent that I was not going to make it home in time to stream. <laughs> so I had to, I had to move. It, unfortunately, if we rewrite Twelve Days of Christmas in a few candy style, will you sing it in full by the end of the stream? Oh my God, Paul. <laughs> um. My singing voice is not great. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I will. I will. I, I will do. The, I will do my best. <laughs> I, d I don't know if I'll actually sing it, but I will certainly read it out in a sing-songy style. Will that do? Will that do? <laughs> um, douche, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, uh, oh my goodness, Franklin, with a ten US dollar super chat. Merry Christmas and a wonderful year it has been. Thank you so much, Franklin. Yes, yes, one year on YouTube as of yesterday. Crazy, crazy. And Franklin, you've been there right since the start. So thank you so much for that super chat. That's really appreciated. I hope you had a really wonderful Christmas as well. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, crazy year, crazy year. <laughs> would not believe what has happened in this last year. I never would have thought that when I started that YouTube channel. I uploaded that first video and I think on my first day, um, I was up to like, I think I, I think I was on like five or six subscribers and like two of those at least were my family. <laughs> <laughs> it was very exciting and then the next day i think i had i think it was the day after yes yeah, so like a year ago today i think i had the balls to share it i hate self promo but i did share it and then it all went crazy from there and all you you guys <laughs> you guys found me so thank you so much over the course of this crazy year what year it's been um xe welcome in welcome in uh, EastEnders is on, so half here and half on the TV. Is there something exciting happening in EastEnders? I have to admit, I've not seen that in years. <laughs> not in years. Uh, Martin Hill, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Karina, welcome in as well. Hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. The Governor and the Lord. <laughs> I hope you've had a good time. Um, happy year one, one year for you, Candy. Thank you, Claire. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Mental. I can't believe it was a year ago. Like, it, it feels like it's gone. It feels like it was a long time ago, but it also feels like it's gone really quick at the same time. So I don't really understand how that works, but yeah. Tips hat. Yes. Yes, Karina. <laughs> um, I can tip, I can tip my Santa hat. Yeah. I, I'm definitely going to get a bit warm running, running Oridan in this. <laughs> my PC hits up quite a bit. Heats up, hits up. Can't even talk. It's the start of the stream already. I've not had anything to drink today, I promise. <laughs> oh, Lordy Lord saw the first video too and was hooked up. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, right. Okay, anyway, let's crack on. So, yeah, basically the plan is to carry on with the, <laughs> the farm, which I've now given us a bit of a boost and a head start to. So, yeah, all the fields are, well, most of the fields are in. I think what we're going to do is fill in some of the other spaces around our houses with animal fields and maybe some little kind of bush fields like we did here this sort of decoration to fill in the odd spaces amongst the farms um so that is what we are going to do today and finally finish off this area and i actually went onto the workshop and found some prop farm fields which don't disappear now i wanted to keep i couldn't find a version of the rapeseed and the cut wheat you know with our <laughs> with our alien scarecrow <laughs> from last time with the aliens which i added rubbish lore to if anyone wants to add better lore to that please feel free to go ahead <laughs> um yeah so they still disappear unfortunately when we zoom out but the rest of them stay there so we kind of you know we still get that nice farm effect from zoomed out and i've actually done a little bit of surface painting under the ones that disappear so it doesn't look so rough and ready but right let's crack on shall we oh my goodness james mcmillan with a 10 pound super chat a small thank you gift for a magical year of city skylines inspiration thank you so much james that's so kind thank you thank you so much um yeah thank you for all of your support across the year <laughs> like absolutely crazy really appreciate the super chat thank you thank you um my goodness there's so many of you lucas welcome in sylvester welcome in um sambo did i say welcome in already you were here earlier weren't you yeah happy channel birthday exactly yes hugo welcome in as well um yeah five flustered farmers <laughs> oh are we talking that okay well you guys write the 12 12 days of few candies christmas and i will attempt to sing it is that a, is that a karaoke machine behind me did you say no it's a really old school hi-fi 
that I got when when I was a lot younger. <laughs> a lot younger. Yeah, it still it still has tape on the top, in fact. So if I ever want to listen to my old cassette tapes, it's got a cassette tape player that still works. Okay. <laughs> but no, it's not a, kar a karaoke machine. Holy mother of God! What? Oh my God, Edward Pickwood! Oh my God! No, that's like actually, that's like actually mental. You're crazy. <laughs> crazy, Edward. Oh my goodness. Okay, Edward Pickford with a 300 US dollar super chat. My goodness. Here I go, big old mental again, though. Yes, you are. <laughs> Happy first anniversary for you. Um, please do something nice for your new home. Hashtag few candy love. Oh my goodness, Edward. Thank you so much. <laughs> like, I will definitely do something really nice for my first home. Well, my first home, my new home. I can't even talk. My new home with that. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy um your support is insane edward thank you thank you so so much for that and i will tell you what i get <laughs> with that super chat when i come to it when i come to finally move it's dragging on but i'm hoping it'll be in january um i will get something really special with that thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much oh my god i'm getting flustered i'm starting to sweat already people <laughs> I'll calm down we've got to build something today i've yet to put anything in other than a sneaky uh what was it power plant i will do that bridge as well actually that someone said let's go and do that now Oh my goodness, yes, Apple to Happy Channel anniversary. Yes, it is a thing, Lucas. I'm, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Tornado Smith loving the festive pattern lights. Yes, I'm, I'm in the mood. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, oh my goodness, Paul Raymond with the £10 super chat. Happy stream birthday. Keep up the incredible streams. Hope 2023 brings you lots of success. Thank you so much, Paul. I used to call you Paul and Ray when you used to watch me on Twitch, didn't I? I remember that. And you were like, you can just call me Paul. <laughs> thank you so much for all of your support as well you guys are mental i haven't built a single thing yet so we, we're gonna get stuff done today okay so you're gonna have to stop with the super chats <laughs> and we'll get stuff done yeah i've never seen a 300 dollar super chat either jen i'm like actually like i'm seriously sweating edward <laughs> thank you so much like you guys are like absolutely mental you're gonna massively 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 tremendously more than like crazily double any kind of revenue month that i've ever had on youtube this month so what a way to to bring in the bring in the second year on youtube <laughs> thank you so much um oh, i was going to be a while before i can do something like this again no worries though in my opinion helping you get settled into your new home is money well spent oh thank you so much Edward. that's so so kind and yeah yeah please please don't ever do that again okay you, you've given so much support <laughs> like oh my goodness thank you so much but yeah I will, it will massively help me get settled into the new home. Thank you. Mateo, welcome in as well. Um, right, okay, let's do the little, let's let's actually do stuff. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop getting flustered. But yeah, we did say we put in a pedestrian bridge over the railway here from the old factory across. Um, so I think there are some obvious places that we can do it. This is probably one of them although it is going to cause me some grief doing it oh my goodness we got major traffic here right we're not doing a traffic fix <laughs> my entire downtown is backed up it's probably a stuck sim or something like that which happens fairly regularly which you guys don't see pretty much when i load up every episode i have to remove a couple of stuck vehicles find the root of the problem great fun right <laughs> um Yes, let's do a, let's do a walking bridge across. Uh, I'm just trying to find the best place because we've got this bridge that obviously they can walk across there. And then this one <laughs> stuffed with traffic. You guys didn't see that, right? No one saw anything. Yeah, we'll take that, <laughs> take that back. Um, that will pay for the December electric and gas bill yesterday. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been flaming cold as well, hasn't it? Right, okay. We have, have we got a crazy sim about to fly? Oh no, I thought it was about to fly. I thought it was walking in a random direction. Okay, so there, there must be a path here. We must be linked onto the... That's what I was going to check. Yes, we are linked onto the key over there and there's a path over here. So let's bring something across here. Um, it is going to be awkward because we've got the raised side keys though. So yeah, this could be interesting, but we will do it. I know loads of people have mentioned this and putting in the pedestrian connectivity that we probably should have in here. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, so what we want to do is, I can't see my page up key. Um, let's raise it up a tiny bit. I'm just thinking what is the best way to do this. 
this is not the, e <laughs> the easiest place to do it without completely ruining the walkable keys, I'll be honest. Because uh, I, I did consider this before. I should have thought more hard about it, actually, before we came on stream, but never mind. You live and you learn. Okay, let's bring it across like that, and we can definitely sink that back down a little bit. We can move the nodes in a second as well. So let's just sink that so we've got it right as far down as we can possibly go with those sides. Okay, so it needs to be up a little bit. That generally looks all right. It might be a little bit slopey. Maybe one side's actually higher than the other side. Right. Okay, let's move this across to just about here. And then we'll see if we can just connect it up. It's going to be across the key, but no one really uses this, to be honest, anyway. So let's just bring that across to there. And then we'll move this. I'm kind of think, can we move it almost super duper close? We can just about get away with it there. It's a little bit of a step up onto it. <laughs> I'll pull it down a little bit. That's a bit better. I think we could probably get away with that. And then let's do something similar this side. So we'll move this back a little bit. My goodness. And <laughs> raise it back up. That lamppost, can we kind of get that as a sort of on the edge of the path there potentially potentially it's very slopey isn't it actually that's quite nice with the column right on the side there don't mind that can we do the same this side it marks where the walking path is okay we'll do that and then let's again just bring this to home and then we'll move it back into place so this yeah oh hang on a sec did i use the wrong path did i do the same thing the other side Okay, we'll just do it all in concrete path then. No, I did quite like that actually. Yeah, I like the pillars on it. So let's adjust that back. Okay, and then we'll move this back to here. <laughs> Without trying to get massive sinkholes in. Um, can we go back a tiny bit further? We can go like that. Let's just raise it up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That should do it. These people are going to walk right through the path, though, I think, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> of course they are. But I don't really think there's any other way of doing it without completely ruining the landscape. Because there's no obvious way to come directly across where we could bring it down. So I think that's okay. And I don't want to just cut it through the tops of the keys. And if we spend hours starting to faff around with keys, putting in the ones without the fences on them then we won't do any of our farm today <laughs> so hopefully that will that will do um tim welcome in oh we'll name the area around the baseball park streamers park with the baseball team naming streamers oh steamers oh steamers oh i quite like that actually did we even name the baseball park yeah because we've got the the railway haven't we my goodness i'm sorry the rail yard yeah did we? We haven't even put a district on the baseball park, actually. We can do that. I like that. The steamers. Uh, who was that? Tom. Yeah, it goes with the rail yard, doesn't it? We can name them the steamers. Let's do that. Yeah, I need to make sure that I've got all of the the areas named in Oregon as well before we call it a day. Oh, Steamers Park. That's what I was going to call it, wasn't it? Oh, it can be Steamers Hill then instead of a Headman Hill or, or Murray Mound or whatever it is now. <laughs> Steamers Park. Oh, I can't name the team. Yeah, I can't name the team because it's the university, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, that will do. That will do. That will do. Thank you. Moving, moving on back to here. Thank you for the suggestion, Tom. Love that. Um, uh, to be honest, FC, you don't need to build anything this stream. Just kick back and let's embrace the insanity of this community. <laughs> we can do that if you want. We can just like sit back and, and stare at Oradell if you want. <laughs> uh, Arctic Fox, welcome in. Welcome in. Howdy Christmas, Canary. Candy, what are you working on today? Well, I was going to continue the farm, but you know, if Matteo is saying don't build anything, we can just uh, we can just have a chat and have some, <laughs> have some fun. We can do that as well. <laughs> I'm very open to whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> Did you manage to watch Extreme Lol? I've watched the first or maybe hour of it, Claire, but not the whole thing yet. Um, I haven't found the time, but yeah, I did have watched the first hour of it. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, welcome in, Mags. Well, hello, it's Arthur. Welcome in. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Had a lovely Christmas. Gareth, welcome in as well. Welcome in. Okay. Oh, and Milan as well. Hello. Greetings from Macedonia. Greetings from the UK. <laughs> 
Um, those grandpas will have trouble. They will, Franklin. <laughs> they will cross on that bridge. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of building, but if there's anything in particular that you'd like to float around and see in Oridan or any little changes you'd like made, then give it a shout and we can have a very chilled random stream today and i probably won't stream for a full two hours today only because the last few days have been incredibly tiring but we'll see how we go <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see how we go i need to get an early night can we find the iron grandpa i mean that would that would take days paul i suspect the iron grandpa has probably moved on from oridan to a better world now <laughs> unfortunately um i'd love it if you could search for sims though i'd love to know where travis jesus brown is as well <laughs> Yeah. Most of your streams and his are absolutely nutty, lovely. I'm not very clearly, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, the last stream in particular of mine was very nutty. <laughs> oh, David Chart, welcome in. I hope you had a wonderful holidays and weekend. I hope you did too, David. Yes, I had I had a really nice time. Yeah. Does the Oridan has a candy factory? Um, that's true, actually, you know. I someone forgive me because I can't remember who suggested it now, but I actually just um saw the comment today. Because we've got Cadbury over here. Someone did suggest having a chocolate factory over here, which I think would be a really, really nice trouch. So yeah. She's hungover, chat. I'm not Paul. I'm not hungover. <laughs> I'm not hungover. <laughs> Promise. I'm not. <laughs> Look, fresh faced, eager. <laughs> We're all good. We're 22 minutes in though, and I built a pedestrian bridge and plopped a sneaky power plant, but that's it. Um, I'm drinking coffee, Baileys, with the bottle waiting waiting to the side, knowing tomorrow is my last and only day where I get to do absolutely nothing. Cheers, everyone. Oh my goodness. Enjoy, Karina. Go nuts. Go nuts. Get the whole bottle down. <laughs> no, don't. I'm not encouraging that. I'm not encouraging uh, naughty drinking, everyone. But have some fun, Karina. <laughs> Uh, the idea for looking at parts of Oridan, the new town, I absolutely love what you did there, yeah? Do you want, does everyone want to just have a fly around Oridan then rather than build stuff today? We can absolutely do that. Uh, it may have been you, Franklin. Was it you? Yeah, it, might, yeah, it could have been you, Franklin. I did read your comment today as well. Uh, I was catching up. There is a mod where you can save Sims and see how they progress in life. Oh my goodness, Sambo. But I have to have a look at that. As long as it's not game changing, if it breaks and I have to get rid of it, we could put it on the new city and we can monitor Sims as they go. I mean, we could go, <laughs> we can revisit where the Iron Grandpa was standing, which was uh, right here. We haven't got any other Iron Grandpas at the moment. It was literally like right in this junction, wasn't it? It was waiting for, waiting for transportation. In fact, look, there he is. There's two of them. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I clicked on this now and it was actually, I can't remember his name. Was it Thomas Chapman? I think it was that. It's Leighton Murray now. There's no one else. This dude seems slightly underdressed compared to everyone else. I wouldn't bet like the guy in the vest and the shorts there. <laughs> Might be a little bit cold in the Oregon temperatures. <laughs> Maybe a first person ride. We could do first person rides. Forget the build. Let's reminisce. Is that what everyone wants to do? Okay, I'll tell you what. We haven't done a poll in a while. I'm going to do a poll. Um, We are going to do a poll. We're going to do reminisce. If I've spelt it right, I might have spelt it wrong. Forgive me if I have. Reminisce or carry on with farm. What would you like to do today? <laughs> that is going to be the poll. Um, there we go. You can let me know what you think and we will do whatever you guys want to do today. Uh... We're getting drunk then. I have got ciders in the fridge. <laughs> Go and get a cider. I don't know. Cideration break for all. Is that naughty drink? I'm not encouraging it. If you're if you're underage, please do not partake in any ciphers, ciders. <laughs> I think I've got to part three in watching this series. I think I'm way behind. Oh no, Arctic Fox. You can always catch up. Oh, this might be if we if we do end up reminiscing, we're gonna have hella spoilers though for you. <laughs> really hella spoilers do you know what there's a lot of little areas that we could do more detailing in like here you know there's no fences up this road you could get some like nice rock patterns in for this little underpass here this is the trouble with reminiscing i'm gonna find things that i want to do <laughs> in fact this whole area actually if we're starting off with a little reminisce it looks like the boat is going that way at the moment um so get your boats in let me know what you want to do today um, yeah, this little area was the only area in Oridan that was zoned. And I think, yeah, 
well that is still zoned so all of this it was so the first episode i did oh see this is zoned still but it's all historicalized but the first episode i did come in and zone these areas but obviously when i went through to detail it i basically <laughs> redid all that historicalized buildings deleted them and plopped in the rest but there is literally no zoning in the rest of Oradon. okay now i'll take that back there's a little bit here are these even historical actually let me have a look yeah they are so I have probably been through and plucked still, but yeah, that's that's interesting fact for you. I don't know if everyone was aware of that, but I've literally <laughs> plucked pretty much almost every building in this entire city. Yeah, there's just there's just no other zoning. I don't really don't really play that way. Um, yeah. What's the, this? The area that was all built off camera originally? Oh, um, the the Iron Grandpa. So this was built as part of a time lapse for when I was doing the oil build because partway through I was trying to get it to level five and it needed more workers because at the stage when we did the oil build it was only four episodes in. So are we going down the reminisce? It looks like that way. 64% is quite close. 35% of you at the moment are going to be quite disappointed that we aren't carrying on the farm. We may if we've got time later. Um, yeah, so episode one was not this, this harbour out the front but was the school here not even the park actually and this neighborhood this high street and yeah this little shopping area here and then we did put in some housing here but it wasn't kind of fully developed until episode three and of course the high school and then we had some horrendous mass owned generic industry in there right to start off with um oh my goodness bren with a five pound super chat it's not much it's loads it's loads any any money is loads thank you so much bren it's not much but i just wanted to say a wee happy channel anniversary for you your videos are always super well made and such a delight to settle down to well thank you so much bren i really appreciate that thank you so much thank you for the super chat yay <laughs> um oh you guys are so so kind and thank you for sticking with me for a year <laughs> thank you for sticking with me for a year um do that for you candy go around and do a few bits yeah it's a celebration. Definitely grab a cider. Woo, <laughs> drunk candy. I mean, I may be drunk on one cider. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> where did it all start? So yeah, so yeah, this was this was where it all started with the school build here and the little underpass. And then episode two, we did come in and obviously do Woodpecker's Brewery, which I still, yeah, I do really love how this turned out. There's little things I'd do differently now. I was going to go through actually. We can do that. Let's do, let's do a bit of fixing up um because yeah we've still got a couple of months i think of not slope what am i doing this one we've got still got a couple of months of oridan left yet but yeah it would be good to go around and perfect it wouldn't it because things like this yeah turning off all of these road crossing markings i definitely want to do that in here like i think it looks so much cleaner and better for a factory area so yeah i've done it on a lot of later oridan areas but not so much in the early days just wasn't really something that came to my mind to be honest <laughs> um i think it was suggested at one point in bill air maybe um by someone and then it kind of yeah stuck with me a little bit since then but yeah it does look so much better like all of those as well it's a super random node there definitely looks a lot cleaner without those crossings on it a lot cleaner um yeah so there we go we just fixed that woodpeckers brewery <laughs> yeah but yeah so i did the oil um that's what i was going to say i did the oil and it was really only yeah, a few houses here in this neighborhood that was in and it's obviously a five star oil industry and to get it to five stars i needed more people so i zoned in this area while i was doing that so you guys have never really seen the housing and to be honest this area is so undetailed like all of the hedges haven't been finished anyone i know paul was there because <laughs> he'll talk about it um but anyone who was on the twitch stream which was the infamous four house or five house twitch stream <laughs> i spent literally about three hours putting in very very few european suburbia houses making sure all the fences were lined up and all neat and all that rest of it so um yeah i have not done this over this whole area so it's yeah a little bit depressing it's not very well detailed but then we have got we have got the main sort of high street here which was pretty detailed like we've got the extension onto the restaurant here some nice sitting areas obviously st thomas's church as well you may remember that stream what was it um holy crap a church with a outhouse i think was the joke that uh <laughs> the joke of the stream on that i'm pretty sure that was it <laughs> yeah that was funny so yeah all of this is quite nicely detailed little lemon trees or whatever they are outside there in this school obviously um yeah i still really like this school here community school but it's still a little bit patchy over this area so there are things to do 
We could definitely do a bit of touching up there. Um, okay, so we've got 63% for reminisce. Is that what everyone wants to do then, yeah? <laughs> well, 37% of you don't. <laughs> I tell you what, we do a little bit of reminiscing. Let's reminisce for the next half an hour and then we'll do some farm building after that. We're probably, we're definitely not going to finish the farm today, but we'll get a bit more of it done. Uh, maybe today is a good day to retrofit some banks into the older areas. That's a great idea, Sambo. Yes, we can absolutely do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to watching the recording off to work now. Happy Christmas for you. Happy Christmas, Tornado Smith. Have a good one. Hope work's all right. Yeah. I think that as you've created a simulcrum of Salisbury, then it has to have a cathedral. Oh, what's the, the Cadbury, you mean? <laughs> I'm not fitting a cathedral into that. <laughs> Oh, Philip, welcome in. Esther Lingo, welcome in as well. Congratulations for you. you enjoyed your podcast interview. Thank you, Esther. Yeah, do go and check out the podcast interview. Um, Jen might put... A... Oh, there we go. Karina's added it. Thank you, Karina. Um, uh, uh, Philip, how did you come up with the name for you, Candy? Uh, actually, if you watch to the very, 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 very end of that podcast, so like after they've wrapped it up and finished it, there's a bit of music. After the music, I talk about the name. <laughs> I might leave you to go and watch that. Well, I could, I'll, I'll tell you now, but there's, I'll chat a little bit about the name. So you should go and watch that. Uh, well, not watch that. Listen to that and see what I say. But um, the name was uh, generated by Microsoft. Yeah. When I created an Xbox login, I took the first. I said that I was going to take the first one that it gave me on the random name generator and few can do is it and it's stuck. <laughs> um, if you and your mod list on Steam, do you have an invisible path one? I do. I do. Yes. Um, it is in the mod list, but I can give you a link right now. Um, yeah, it's this invisible path, bridge and tunnel. Uh, what am I doing? Sharing it. And here you go. There is a link in the chat. Uh, yes. So yes, we do use invisible paths. Super, super useful, actually. Where did I use them in? Um, I use them in the par. Uh, no, in here. Yeah, yeah, to go around here just really recently. So there is an invisible path around this little open green space. So hopefully, Sims would actually walk around it at some point, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> a cathedral, cathedral. We really want a cathedral. <laughs> oh, look, the reminiscing is going down by the second on the pole. <laughs> okay, what do we want to reminisce out? We want to retrofit in some banks. That was a great idea. That was a great idea. I'm just wondering if we can actually retrofit one into the Iron Grandpa district. Um, we could potentially, on this corner here, wouldn't be a bad shout for it because it's quite a nice little corner asset. So I think if we delete this house, we're so close to getting 100,000, it keeps not happening. <laughs> oh, look, we have actually got zoning there. <laughs> That's weird. I was thinking, why is a house growing? I'm not used to that. Um, yeah, let's go and retrofit some banks in. I'm thinking the small banks... I mean, we can see if we can fit in one of the big... Oh, God, it is big, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I don't think I realised it was that big. It's been a while since I placed it. Uh, oh, and of course, we need to get rid of the zoning as well. Oh, my goodness, there's a <laughs> one by two house there. You are going. Sorry, mate. Bye. Yeah, I really need to go around this neighbourhood and tidy it up. Um... Yes. So, yeah, okay, let's put in a bank on this corner then. I think we put it in like that so there's a slight gap. That's not too bad. And what I might actually do, if we get Surface Painter, I can actually click on it. Let's get... No, let's trim this. That's what I wanted to do. Can we trim? We can't trim back the ruined, can we? No, we're only trimming back that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we could leave that. Do we mind the grass border? I might have to put it further forward, I think. It's more lined up to the pavement then. Yeah. Um, and in fact, let's just do a little bit of detailing around it while we're at it. Why not? Let's get up into the hedge and see if we can just tidy this up a little bit. So we want to just make that slightly tighter so we don't have the gaps in the hedge there. Well, let's just go ahead and extend this out and then we can pull this back for this guy's backyard here. Oh, look at me. We're going we're gonna to start another full house stream here if I start doing back <laughs> backyard detailing. <laughs> we better not do that. We're in danger there. <laughs> okay, let's pull that across like that. And then what we'll do is we'll get brush tool and we will tidy up the back of the bank here a little bit. So let's just get our two by two. No, we want something smaller for that here. Okay, then we can go a little bit bigger here. 
And let's just fill in this bit as concrete behind here. I think that makes a bit more sense. Tidy that up. Um, oh, Teddy Radko, hello, welcome in. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Christmas, I was going to say Christmas break, or Christmas, what a holiday. Um, you can use it on the new pedestrian bridge, right? I can sample, but then they'd be floating across the uh, <laughs> across across the keys, which I'm not sure we necessarily want them to do. A cathedral coop, is it? <laughs> is it? Oh look, the reminiscing's dropping to fifty nine percent. Right, uh, let's end the poll. Yeah, we're we're going to do a little bit of scooting around just in celebration of one year. We're going to scoot around a little bit and reminisce and fix some little bits up, like these banks and things like that, and then we will go onto the farm. We'll do a bit of both. Um, oh, Big Nakrumah, welcome in. Big Nakrumah is one of the gamer friends who interviewed me on the podcast. Do go and check it out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep plugging it this whole episode. <laughs> it was so much fun. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, post offices on some blocks where banks go. Yes, we we have got post office. There is a post office in here, over here. We've done pretty well with post offices. The coverage is is pretty decent, I think. So we should be all right with that. Um, Jeremy, welcome and congratulations on your rise. Lots of you choose to spend years to accomplish what you have as well. I know, Jeremy. I'm like, yeah, I'm insanely, insanely grateful. Like, blown away, blown away by you all. Oh, my goodness. Mark Neville with a £10 super chat. Had a happy anniversary. Thank you for all your high quality detail and tips throughout the year. Thank you so much, Mark. That's that's really, really kind. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the tips. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much for the super chat. I still, I can't believe it. it's been a year. I really can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I really can't. Oh, View Candy in the chat, Matrim says hello to you and wishes you all a fabulous stream. Oh, hello, Matrim, if you're watching this back. Hello. Oh, City Spy Diana, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Congrats on your year. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, right. Let's just check on this bank then before we go um, and move on to somewhere else. I kind of, I don't want to do too much of it. This is not what the stream's necessarily about. I think these little bits out the front, though, are a little bit weird. So I think we'll just tidy those up with our brush tool. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, just like these sections, which doesn't feel quite right. Although this is going to be slightly too big. Is it, it's planters under there, isn't it? What is that there? Is that actually surface painter? Oh, we agree. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's better. That's neater. Um, I'm not going to do anything about that. I think I will leave this. I'm not very good at just leaving a little bit of open space, and I don't hate that. Having said that, <laughs> might track, track down a little, just one, one little pine tree. Yes, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, right, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on from my grandpa. Okay, so we've got a bank over there. I'm just thinking where else we... we could put one in Woodhaven down here. But I really like this high street. I'm <laughs> reluctant to break it off. We could break out these two two here and potentially replace it with a bank if it'll fit in here. Uh, which I think we can get to fit. So let's do that. Let's get rid of these. All the vanilla trees on the back of that as well. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Yeah, let's fit in a bank here. I think we can get this to work. We it's going to be very very tight on the bushes. Oh, that's all right at the back. Yeah, I think we're okay there. We're okay there actually. So I think we're all good. Let's again do what we did last time and just tidy up some of this surface paint. I didn't want that one actually. Uh, is that? Oh goodness. Right. Let's um. What's it? What's it called? <laughs> oh, it's surfaces, isn't it? Let's get rid of buildings. Second, there we go. Is that the one? Yes. Oh, it's gone too close. I don't want it over the bushes. Okay. And let's just add in one more there. And that keeps it quite tidy. I think that actually sits in quite nicely there. It's the right height for this area. Yeah, and it will help with all of this commercial we've got along the waterfront here. So that's probably a nice little job. We've also got Williams Point with a load of commercial there. Um trying to think where else we've kind of got commercial hubs we have got a lot around the pink lady district i am missing trees i think from here did i not bob these trees off <laughs> did you guys seriously let me do a whole episode without bobbing those trees off or has bob gone wrong <laughs> um yeah do you know what we're gonna do a little bit of bob work on this 
I I actually can't. Did I seriously leave it like that? I don't know if anyone remembers. <laughs> um. Oh, podcast link, please. Oh, yes, Karina's done it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um. Uh. And the, the people, uh, I, I missed out. You guys are having a, a private chat. <laughs> oh, Kevin Young, what visual mods do you use? Um, not for, not like huge amounts, to be honest. Uh, like I'm relatively light on the mods. So in terms of visual mods, I use FPS Booster. Um, Daylight Classic, I I've got it on, but everything is turned off, so it's kind of yeah, I, I wouldn't get that. Um, I use Render It. I have still got Relight as well because I can't really get, because I got Render It halfway through Oridon, I couldn't get the visual settings right with just Render It. Um, it didn't work, so I've still got Relight as well, uh, which just doesn't appear in this list. I've got Ultimate Level of Detail, but that is turned off most of the time. I only use that when I'm doing cinematics, so that will basically mean that props stay in from a further distance away. That's it. Uh, I think that that's literally it. I don't use any other visual props. Uh, uh, mods even if I'm missing something someone can tell me <laughs> pretty sure that is literally it yeah yep yeah. yep yeah, that's it right let's do some bob work um these trees <laughs> I've got to go and I'm thinking I'm thinking actually we might do the common vase let's do the common vase let's switch them out for these but then let's also add in a prop uh, no, we want a prop to be added in. Okay, so add new prop. Yeah, I need to find it first, don't I? So it's a plant. I've got to remember exactly what it's called, actually. So let's come out of Bob. Let's find our planter that I want. I'm going to put in little round planters underneath all of these trees. Um, or we could actually, I have got the tree. I've got a tree cage thing. Oh, there's this one. Merka's tree bed. Okay, Merka's tree bed. Right, that's what we need to find. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go back to this. We're going to go markers, tree bed. Okay, I'm going to add this. How do I add it? Am I being really thick? Add new prop. I've done this before and now I can't think of it. So now we might actually not do, <laughs> not do this on stream. Oh, man. Um, I swear to God it's that. We haven't got any Merkers tree bed in there though. So maybe I'm like just being really, really, really thick. Um, right, we're gonna leave that for now anyway. And what we'll do instead is just place them in. <laughs> we could have bobbed them on if I can actually get my brain in gear and figure out how to do it. But yeah, cause you can now add props in Bob, which was an update after I did my tutorial. And clearly I haven't brushed up on it. <laughs> so I'll be going away to do that after this stream. <laughs> right, there we go. But yeah, this is what I want to do. In fact, you know, it's probably quicker to just place them in underneath the trees than it is to figure out. <laughs> I'm sure it's quicker in Bob. Although with Bob, obviously, every time we place it, we'll have the nice planters. Otherwise, this time we'd have to place them in ourselves. But yeah, quite happy with that. I'm just thinking the other place we have used that is over in Cadbury, isn't it? In the town centre. Can we use that? I oh, know we used, ah, uh, that's it. Yeah, we used the Bouncy Castle instead. Okay. Are there any, any anywhere else that we've used it? We might have used it in Seven Oaks City Park, which we did. Yeah, let's place our little planters in here as well then. And make it look right. I can't believe I left vanilla trees on that. I really don't think I did. <laughs> I think I got rid of all of the trees. And some of these benches and some of the lampposts as well. But never mind. I may have been completely imagining it. I have to go back and watch this episode and see what it looked like. Bob <laughs> uh, it. Obviously trees with leaves. Should be changed to trees with leaves near two. Yes. Not forgetting tree anarchy. So you don't put trees in the middle of the roads. Yes. I know. I've got. Yeah. No, it's fine. We're, we're, we're fine with trees in the middle of the roads, I think. I think. Um, okay, right, banks. Anyway, yeah, this area, I'm reluctant to cut up any of this, to be honest, to fit a bank into it because all of this nightlife area was quite carefully placed in. Um, there is actually... So this bit is one thing that we have not done uh, that I've been meaning to do, and I'm wondering now if we can fit in a bank underneath this metro station or if that would just clip it and look super weird actually actually not <laughs> it's actually not too bad 
it sort of almost fits right up to the back of the uh, police yard as well, which I don't hate. So this is this is definitely one area that we could go in and fix up today because all of this bit is just completely undetailed up and underneath the metro station here. So we need to fix that. Um, yes, looks good. Yes. Okay. It looks good with just a few mods. I might use that on my new city. Yes, carry on. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think you need to go overboard. Um, like I'm not I'm not kind of out there trying to make this look. Oh, everyone's very unhappy. I wonder. <laughs> I'm not there out there trying to make this look like a super realistic city. I'm just like I, I'm happy for it to still look like city skylines. But obviously, want it nice and crisp and clear. And I think the most important thing is getting the LUTs and your relight settings right, um, or render it settings. So you've got the light balance right. I think that's really the most important thing to get that how you want that spot on. Um, and then the rest of it, you know, I can deal with the trees kind of. LODing out from further away as long as what we're, we're looking at but nice and close is looks all right I'm kind of happy with that this is a little bit messy here isn't it actually right let's get some let's just do a tiny bit of commercial on here while we're going through and what was it the football stadium it was wasn't it this this was done over about three or four streams I think in fact actually this whole area here within this border of the road was entirely stream based so you may remember the <laughs> the pink lady park with the keys which took me several hours to do then of course we had the yeah the stadium oh, we had the student nightlife bit after that actually which was this bit and then we had the stadium and then we had the plaza bit but yeah, I think it was four stream, and then we might have had the backstage bit as well as a separate stream. I don't know how that took me two hours, <laughs> but it does. I feel like we're going to get a lot done today, you know. Actually, <laughs> there we go. If it fits, it sits. Yeah, I know where a bank would fit right over where the Marmite blender melted egg boxes. Would it? Would it? Would it? <laughs> we can go back and have a look at the uh, the ugly area in a sec. Plain grass? No. <laughs> That's how I am, Dave. Yeah. Um, Love that area, so incredibly cute. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, we did call it the uh, General. It was the General Hospital, wasn't it? General Teaching Hospital Flood Memorial Fountain, for those of you who remember the flood stream. So that was <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> did have a good time then. Um, yes, let's fit in. I'm wondering if actually nightlife would be better here, you know? Like some of these. We can kind of... I mean, that's a salon, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't really go that well underneath the metro do you want to go and get your nails done underneath the metro i suppose it's not that bad yeah you might do you might do yeah i think i'm thinking a little bit of just leisure under here might not go amiss get a little sing-along karaoke you guys are writing the 12 days of few candy christmas i'm kind of hoping that you're, you're not i don't know why i'm reminding you <laughs> Um, this is where we discovered Jesus Brown, tra Travis. Yes, this is where we discovered Travis Jesus Brown. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. He was walking literally across the water here. So he's named Travis Jesus Brown. And wasn't he going to like tent one or something like that? He was going under here. Um, and we were talking about people going under the dodgy underpass, which has a pink light and some graffiti on it, doesn't it? <laughs> to, to get to Travis's tent, wherever it was. I can't, we, we, we named the tent, didn't we? I feel like it's probably not going to be named still. I've no idea. I swear we named the tent. I cannot remember where it is. If someone remembers where it is, we could go and find Travis's tent, but I feel like we did name it. We've got a cat. Anyway, I'm not going to click through the thousands of tents there to try and find Travis's tent, but yeah, that was another funny stream. I did like that. The Lord and Saviour, Travis Brown. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes, David. Oh. Have you built a homeless community to live under the bridge? We have in the downtown Arctic Fox. Yes, we have. Um, on a stream, we used uh, actually assets made by Daxus, who's on the stream now, um, and put those in. Uh, so yes, we have. Yeah, we have done that. We we could do some more here. Yeah, we could do some more here, I suppose. Is that actually going to sit in? That all, might almost sit in, just about. I was wondering if we should push these back a little bit to get a little bit more space, which I think we should. And we can just do a bit of surface painting, I think, behind them. But we'll have to keep this one stuck out a little bit, which is okay. I don't mind that. We could, in fact, could we turn that? No, we can't turn that around, really. Yeah, that's very much a corner asset like that, isn't it? 
the diner is not going to fit in. Is there anything in tourism? <laughs> you could put, put another nightclub right next to the, the highway. I don't, the highway? The metro. I don't think that would be hugely nice, would it? Um, let's have a little look at low vanilla. I wonder if, what could fit in from that point of view. That's probably a bit too tall, isn't it? Might be able to squeeze this one in. Oh, what should we get rid of? Let's get rid of this one. I don't like it as much. We'll have a Paddy's Pub over here. Although it did cover up the pillar a bit, didn't it? Hmm. Do we need to leave a gap for the pillar? We possibly do. So maybe we have a walkway through there. And then let's just shift all these three up a tiny bit so they sit in a bit nicer there. Okay, and then we can put in this commercial on the corner of the horrendous ice cream sticking out. <laughs> Make that look a little bit better. Okay, and then let's come in with some surface painter then. Um, yeah. Uh, what you get for Boxing Day? Me. Oh, welcome in, Shrew Skid. Welcome in, Sinister Plot as well. First live stream. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. Welcome to your first live stream. Um, uh, what did I get for Boxing Day? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> What did I get for Christmas? I got some really cool stuff, actually. I got some um, Formula One merch, which is, like, probably my best present. I love Formula One, for those of you who... I'm sure, I'm sure pretty much all of you know, because I have shut up about it. Um, and it would have been hard if you had missed the Formula One track build. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I got some Formula One merch, which I was, yeah, super, super grateful for. Um, uh, what else did I get? And then I got some stuff for my new house. That is... Uh, that, that's what I got. So, yeah, just some kitchen bits and things like that that I'm going to need when I move. Grown-up stuff, you know? <laughs> Grown-up stuff. Oh, Front 99, welcome in. Put casino under there. Totally real to life too. Uh, with The casino unique wouldn't fit in here. We don't have any other casino. I have put in the casino unique, you know, into the whole of Oridan. Yeah, it's way too big. <laughs> Um, I would love to put that in, actually. If anyone's got any ideas for where they think that should go. We have got still space next to the downtown. Um, and I can I can give you a little sneaky peek as to what is coming up as well with Oridan. So I think next we're probably going to do a forestry build. Um, it's a toss-up between forestry and a little China build. So I do want to get forestry in because it's the last of the industries that we haven't touched yet. So I'm pretty keen to make sure that we have got time for that and got that in do you know what we could put a bank here oh, did we did we stick one under the highway yeah the metro i keep calling it highway why do i keep doing that we did um so yeah i'm very keen to get forestry in i want to make sure that we've ticked off all four of those industries and actually we do have a little bit of jobs demand but we could do some other stuff first but the forestry the plan is here you go you're all getting sneaky peek is the forestry will go around this area so it's like a nice workplace and there'll be train um train transport networks uh to it as well in this area so that's where the forestry is going to go i think what i'm going to do is do some of the hearts of career assets around this area actually around the harbour um come into there and possibly some nicer ones out on the waterfront but i'm a little bit like they've got the review of the port of the nuclear power plant i'm not in some of the condos look really nice so i'm not sure how well it would necessarily go there so i think we might have to do some a very small amount of the hearts of Korea um, and certain assets only to get the vibe that was appropriate for this area. Um, we're going to put in some more unique factories like we haven't got the car factory and things like that in yet. Um, so this will be filled with a lot of industrial and possibly some more sort of low income housing and that sort of thing in that area. Um, and that's the main things, really. We've got some road networks that we need to tidy up. Um, yeah, but we're getting there. We're getting there oh my goodness lordy lord welcome into youtube candies thank you so much for becoming a member really really appreciate it you get access to some cool emojis now uh, and also uh the occasional early access video and occasional member posts uh but the main thing is yeah the fr oh you get free super chat every month yes yes there you go <laughs> welcome in thank you so much for becoming a member um, I'll be happy to have that casino on my beloved island. It would probably end up being a bit of do dodgy casino off the mainland. That's not a bad shout, Dave. Although we'd have to like bury it into the rocks. We'd have to figure out how to do that. Oh, Rich, welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, Phew, question. What's the one build you have done that you never thought you would have done this time last year? Um, oh, that's a really good question, Paul. I mean, I'd be inclined to say this. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've literally never placed this asset into a single city before and I've played this game for years. <laughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> I would say this. Um, I never thought I'd do that. What else did I never think I'd do? I always wanted to do an F1 track, so I kind of knew that I would do that at some point. Um, that I never thought I'd do. A movie studio. Movie studio never even crossed my mind um, till, oh goodness, I've got to remember who gave the inspiration for it now. I can't remember who gave the inspiration for it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Who was it? I've got to jog my memory now. I've got to jog my memory. Someone, anyway, someone commented and said, oh, you should look at doing a movie studio. And it had never crossed my mind until they said that. And then immediately I was like, yes, I'm doing that. And I did it in the next episode. <laughs> But yeah, I never, never would have thought I'd done this. Like this is, this is absolutely. I mean, the F one, the F one track kind of has to be my favourite build. We'll go and have a look at that in a sec because it's the F one track and it's yeah, super special. And it took an awfully, awfully long time. But this comes pretty close, and this this episode didn't really do well. Like I thought, I thought it might do well because there's really no one else that's done it. Like there's one other movie studio which uses these same assets, but it's in a very very different style, um, to me on on YouTube, and that was done years ago. I I couldn't find anyone else who's done a movie studio like this, so I thought it might like pique people's interest. Oh look, we've got vanilla trees here. Let's do some bobbin. Um, I thought it might pique people's interest, and yeah, be something different uh but i am gonna bob this road because i don't mind if it's all the way across the whole of oregon uh, i would add rather than just changing the trees which i know you can do <laughs> uh yeah I, I i thought it would pique people's interest but this episode just really did not do i've not done that at all have i did not do that well um but i had so much fun building it and it's still like absolutely one of my favorite ones in oridan i have to say like it took so long like not far off as long as the, the f1 track to be honest as well oh bye claire bye claire hope you have a good rest of your day um uh the movie studio is one of the coolest builds thank you diana thank you dave the movie studio is still uh the the only one i've seen across all of the internet yeah i've i've no yeah this is just it there is one other guy who's done it um but it was years ago like i said and it was very different like he didn't do sort of sets like like this one like the sort of historical one or the <laughs> um sort of cyberpunk <laughs> mecca is it kind of weird set here i still love this with the the damsel in distress with the two people with spray cans that the police are clearly terrified of <laughs> don't want to get spray paint on the rise <laughs> um yeah I, I, i've never done obviously any kind of cyberpunk city so i had so much fun just putting together this tiny little area with all these assets it was just yeah it was great it was great um and there's lots of like really small details there's actually like loads of small details that you guys will never see because i i can't show everything in the detail in time lapses because there's just too much to show um but things like yeah these graffitied little blocks here uh stuff like that like little tiny touches make me quite happy this camera man on the on the stairs as well even though it's news people because i had to switch the assets out after i had some um mod changes a uh, sea bolton 97 with canadian 699 super chart super chart canadian dollar <laughs> I, can't, I can't get my words out thanks so much for all the unique bills very entertaining and fun to watch thank you so much for the super chat i really really appreciate it thank you thank you um and you're welcome the trouble is now like how do i top oridan right like i've got to come up with more unique builds for the next city I don't know how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so, this may be it. This may be it. This is my peak, folks. It's downhill from here. <laughs> I like. I just. Yeah. I feel. I feel very proud of this city. Um. Yeah. I feel very proud of it. Yeah. Lots of tiny things. That's what I was saying. Kind of lurking around. I'm trying to think of where else I would have done anything like that. Like you obviously would have seen the film crew out here. The people on set actually dressed as doctors as well because they're they're rich and they live in these like nice looking houses. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. But oh yeah, and also <laughs> the woman with the spray can behind the director. Oh look, he's sunk into his chair. That's not great, is it? Yeah, the woman with the spray can behind <laughs> the director. Look at this dude's face as well. Look at that builder's face. <laughs> pretty mental and these guys like you can't see it from further out but they're just lighting up fags they're like don't care she's about to spray paint the door it looks like it's like a coup against the director actually here to be honest <laughs> but yeah i love the builders faces they're hilarious they're so good they're so good oh sinister plot welcome in to youtube candies as well oh my goodness welcome in thank you so much for becoming a member um thank you <laughs> i really appreciate it 
you guys are already patrons as well crazy thank you so much for your support um so we should all revisit the movie studio episode and cover it in likes and comments yes dave go for it do it <laughs> do it yes yes and then of course we've got the breaking bad one which now it, the, the crew doesn't really care about what's going on on the set anymore apart from this little cameraman here he's like still into it everyone else is like hello there's aliens <laughs> thank you very much overcharged Eric <laughs> love this absolutely love this hope you guys saw the um this was the uh, Ed came in obviously to do his Mulligan Oridan crossover build um when I built an eye loss and brought in loads of aliens which I just love this was the first one because this was a little bit eye loss inspired desert square rose that sort of thing yeah break it bad there we go <laughs> yeah, there we go wasn't there another alien as well there was one like staring yeah here they are yeah staring at the star trek poster that was it yeah <laughs> yeah i love that <laughs> love that oh my goodness ebo in the 10 pound super chat just briefly dropping by to say congrats on the anniversary keep it coming thank you so much ebo that's super kind thank you thanks for popping in and thank you for the super chat um i really appreciate it and yeah one year holy holy moly holy moly guys yeah crazy crazy oh and we also do you know what sorry just thinking about little little easter eggy type things i don't know if you guys saw this because i think i just did it on the discord so if you're not on the discord come and join us this is proposal point i'm pretty sure it was brad who named it that uh so please do correct me if i'm wrong but i think it was brad on the discord who um named it proposal point because it looked like a really romantic place to sit and watch do you know what actually the view the view isn't that great now that it's blo blocked by the isle of dave <laughs> and all the rocks but um yeah i did add on this little builder guy who'd come straight from work and was proposing to the actress from the movie studio oh hello can't get the camera right here it's too zoomed in I was proposing to the actress from the movie studio and uh, obviously i don't have a sorry i'll try and keep this still i'm trying to get the camera in a nice place i don't have a sim prop who's down on one knee so this was him like in the act literally in the act so yeah there we go but look they have got actually the titan atlas nature reserve now to look out on too so it's quite nice views oh my goodness my camera is going nuts over here i'm going to move away and all of this is glitched out as well which hadn't happened before <laughs> might need some fixing up there <laughs> oh my god big nakrima in the 1999 us dollar super chat i have to run but it's been such a pleasure watching your growth over the year and i'm so happy to be part of this beautiful community happy holidays to you and all. oh thank you so much big nakrima thank you so much and thank you so much again for having me on your podcast if you haven't seen it already it's the game of friends podcast it's linked to my community channel also in the discord if you're not there come and join us um uh yeah yeah i'm sure one of the months will link it again in the chat i know you guys have been pushing it go and listen to it thank you so much for having me on that and happy holidays to you as well i hope you had a wonderful time um and thank you for all of your support as well really appreciate it thank you for the super chat thank you oh overcharge egg welcome in we we're just having a look at your aliens <laughs> we we're just having a look at your aliens in the movie studio reminiscing of course <laughs> going around we're just reminiscing about proposal point now but yeah look at that that's a nice little city view isn't it i think at night time as well do you know what i never i always say i never do enough night times don't i so let's uh let's do that oh my goodness david shot david shot with a 1999 99 99 99 oh my goodness us dollar super chat i don't want to derail the fly by my favorite city we just had to thank you for a wonderful year of content and inspiration wishing you and the whole community a great new year can't wait to see what next year brings thank you so much david that's like insane just mad mad crazy generous thank you so much uh really really appreciate it i'm wishing you a really really happy happy new year um and thank you so much yeah yeah You've, you've been around since super early as well so thank you all for your crazy support i'm like i'm getting all flustered again guys <laughs> i'm getting a bit flustered and we got some stuff a lot with the 20 us dollar super chat thank you super thankful for your consistent quality and i'm looking forward to what's left for Oridan and the next city adventure thank you so much mr plot um <laughs> thank you guys for these super chats this is mad again like throwing me off we have built even less than last time today <laughs> definitely built even less than last time oh my goodness i hope you guys uh yeah are having fun on these crazy streams anyway it's quite nice flying around reminiscing with you all um but thank you so much for the super chat um yeah next city adventure is going to be exciting yeah we've got the map lined up now 
gonna be good it's gonna, it's gonna be good i'm excited for it but still i'm thinking our will probably run to at least the end of february um it may be longer than that if we're spending tr streams not doing anything <laughs> so this will be keeping Oridan running <laughs> oh my god oh my goodness guys i've got i've got to do some building today um uh frederick uh 10 grand if i've said that right with an sek 100 super chat finally home and able to relax watching your live stream happy anniversary thank you so much frederick for the super chat and really really appreciate it and yeah i hope you are relaxing nicely at home and this is relaxing and my high-pitched voice <laughs> is uh is relaxing to listen to <laughs> as it can be <laughs> i don't think i have the most relaxing voice but i hope you're having a lovely time and thank you so much for the super chat i really appreciate everyone thank you thank you um any teasers for the next city name so i think i can i think i can happily oh my goodness okay i'm gonna answer that question first and then i'm gonna go <laughs> to douche um okay the next city name so i in terms of the name i haven't 100 percent decided on it yet but i will tell you that the map is based on an island near the philippines so it is completely completely different to what we've got in oridan now it will be tropical as well so the theme's difficult uh different but the landscape is totally 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 different um that's all i can say for now that yeah the name i'm still not 100 percent what i'm actually going to call it i think i've settled on something but I won't reveal it yet. <laughs> really, yeah. Dude, with a 23.99 euro super chat, the hashtag mustard candy is on a roll. Happy anniversary and all the best. Happy to be here. P.S. Love the hat. Thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much. I thought I'd bring some festive cheer. <laughs> um, I thought I'd bring some festive cheer to the stream, so I'm glad you appreciate it. It's getting very hot in here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's getting very hot in here. So it may it may have to come off soon and then you'll, you'll see hat hair, few candy. <laughs> um yeah thank you so much for the super chat like insane insane support as always thank you so much oh my god you guys just blow me away um oh if my heart will settle down we'll get there uh bren i have to say i really miss oridan when it's done but so excited to see what's coming next yeah i'm excited i'm so excited i'll be excited to show you guys what's coming next as well um yeah i it's yeah, it's going to be totally different. Like like I said before, like I think I'm going to have a really hard time topping Oridan, to be honest. Like, this has been so much fun to build. And, you know, I've been playing City Skylines for a long time, but I've ne never done a city as completely as this. Because when you're playing for yourself, I'll kind of, I'll do areas. And obviously I love detailing. So still the cities I was building before this were quite detailed. Um, and I went very slowly on them. But there was always kind of gaps between stuff. So if I wanted to go on and do a different build in a different area, I'd do that. And then things weren't always finished to 100%. Whereas with Oridan, I feel like pretty much bar a couple of areas, like the one that we just started doing and then got distracted by. Um, so under this little, yeah, I see there's still little bits here that aren't completely detailed. Um, this bit's very, very plain indeed. So that does need some work. So that bit, and then I think that one corner of Iron Grandpa. Besides that, there's not really anything that I haven't detailed, like every single kind of scrap of it uh, I've thought about, including all the waterfronts, the rocks and things like that around it, even areas that they're not using, like leaving the beach area here, that sort of thing. Like, yeah, it feels very complete and that's the first time I've ever done it. So I'm super, super proud of this city. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna top, top it. I can't do another movie studio. I can't do another Formula One track. It's just like, you guys have complained of the same content. <laughs> so you guys have got to give me good ideas again it all comes from you as well i'd say like there's so many like this city would not be the same without all of you and that's what i really love about it so many ideas have come from you guys you know the movie studio is just one of them um the the repurpose factory again that's that's come from you guys at the community uh, a stadium waterfront district again was another suggestion um there's there's so much that is your ideas and a lot of the names as well has come from like you know the patreon supporters and then uh, big big crazy <laughs> crazy super chat supporters as well like yeah thank you all so much yeah yeah i do love looking at the downtown at night that view is stupendous that's that's what I was, i've forgotten even what we were saying this is what we we're looking at the, the view from proposal point at night so for those of you who haven't seen proposal point yeah with the guy who's literally just come out of work is about to get on one knee to propose to the movie studio actress in his high-vis workout workout work gear Good luck to him, that's what I say. <laughs> oh my god, 
Tina and the Nessie K hundred super chat. Thank you so much, Tina. Thank you so much again. Like you've been here since Twitch days. Like, oh, I'm so appreciate so appreciate all of you and like yeah, you was you especially Tina, like you've been there since really, really early days on Twitch. So thank you so much. It's like crazy. I can't believe it's been a year. I can't believe it's been a year. The tears of Oridon are about to flow down my face, guys. <laughs> Uh, um, I do think a massive botanical garden build would look stunning on Orida's map with the boreal theme. That's a good, yeah, that's a good idea. I don't think I've really used the botanical garden. I don't think I've actually used it anywhere. The only place that it is is in Eggs Solitude Port over here. I don't think I've put it anywhere else. I don't think I have. That'd be a lovely idea, actually. Yeah, thank you, Bran. That would be a good idea. Um, the smile, the smile. <laughs> Which island is that big one off proposal point? Um, that is the Titan Atlas Paradise or the Titan, the Titan, the Titan Paradise Nature Reserve. Is that it? <laughs> something like that. Um, yeah, something like that. <laughs> I can't remember the name, but yeah, it's Rich's Nature Reserve. Yes. I, lo I love this at night as well. This little view from up here is possibly my favourite in Oridon, I think, of all time now. We've got the view. Oh, God, I can't keep the camera still. Sorry, everybody. Um, yeah, t over to the port and across to the downtown with all of the colourful lights there. I really love that. I really love that. You can even see the arch, actually, quite clearly from here as well. Oh, look, it's becoming daytime. <laughs> um if you can, thank you for naming my new city on console. Mary George loves it. Oh, good. <laughs> what was it? Franksylvania, I think. Like, I'll put Twitch stream. Okay, so a little reminisce over at the um, Formula One track. Because actually, here's another area that we still do need to finish as well. So I need to do quite a lot of streams <laughs> to get some of these odd little bits done. Um, but that's another one to do. But yeah, the Formula One track, yeah. I don't think we need to reminisce about this. Everyone's seen it. <laughs> um, it took a really long time. That's all I'll say. <laughs> But yeah, super proud of it. And actually this, oh goodness, I'm just remembering now the uh, the tyre stream. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever sweated so hard on stream, but I definitely did last time, actually. <laughs> yeah, I definitely did last time. Oh my God. Yeah, that. Um, but this tyre stream came very close. I if anyone was on it, I was trying to figure out how to stack tyres. And I think I spent a good two hour stream just getting it wrong. <laughs> like entirely wrong and then I went back to the workshop found the correct asset that I needed and added it in in about 10 minutes <laughs> so yeah I, I still want to apologize to anyone who was on that stream because it was just a massive waste of time <laughs> and quite painful but I think it turned out all right in the end yeah yeah I do like our little crash here that was pretty cute yeah she's even got the yeah it's even the crash car isn't it yeah the one with the dent in the front and the smash wheel and she's like, oh no, oh. in the few candy pink car. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> I already pleased with that. Oh, you meant Dave's at that point in the stream, but nice to see what the other one is too. I forgot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Dave's is the one with all the rocks on it. Yeah, because so going back to Dave putting the casino on here, I think it's too big for this island as well, even if we tried to retrofit it in with all the... Um... Oh no, 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 it's not. Yeah. Can we have a rock-faced casino? I'm just thinking, like, could we actually hide it in the rocks? Because I haven't placed this anywhere, and I don't think there's really any builds left where I could place it. I'm just wondering if we hide it somewhere. I kind of don't want the Sphinx to be casino-related, though, because I feel like it's easy. it could easily go into a Vegas build, but I wanted to try and make it like it was an ancient artefact with crazy blue makeup on it. <laughs> so I wanted to give it a different vibe, but... We could potentially place a casino in here and hide the body of it in the rocks and just have the entrance sticking out. Those rocks are everything, yeah. Oh, I couldn't see for the tire stream for laughing with you so much. Oh, it was so bad, wasn't it? It was <laughs> so tired, those tires. Oh, my Lord, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that, that one will, like, that one will stay for me forever, yeah. It's okay. It's okay for you. We didn't tire of it. Oh, nice, Paul. Nice. <laughs> yeah, here comes the fun. The, the puns, even. Oh, my goodness. I can't speak today. Uh, oh, Philip, uh, build idea, a big nature reserve. If I remember correctly, you were planning to build one next to the Iron Grandpa District. Um, I was. That was going to be a small nature reserve. We have now done 
a pretty large nature reserve on this island though so that's kind of gonna cross that box off i think for me really um yeah so the what we were gonna do iron grandpa is actually this waterfront here so we've got a path in we just don't really have anything to it so i was gonna kind of turn this area into a bit of a nature reserve area up to the highway here um but yeah uh I'm less sure about that now because we do have the other one in. We just need to come in and tidy up a little bit of this area, I think. Like, these roads lead to nowhere at the moment. So we just need to come and tidy it up. Make sure that these actually look like a complex as well. Um, that's certainly something that we're going to need to do. Um, yeah. Right, is there anywhere else we want to reminisce in Oridum before we actually try and build some of our farm? <laughs> anywhere else anyone would like to see? God. I do like this oh, oh, cathedral. Here you go. We did finally put in Agassiz Cathedral. I'm kind of like debating the placement of this because I know it's very odd in here, but it, it is up on a hill with very nice views of the downtown from here. <laughs> so I think I honoured the, the cathedral, but then it is slightly odd with the castle here. I, I Yeah, I appreciate that, but I thought it kind of went all right into a complex together. That's why I did it. <laughs> um... Oh, come on, ancient artifact with that face. Yeah, I oh, know. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. <laughs> we can imagine, though, can't we? <laughs> we can imagine. Uh, I'll stand at those skylines, uh, Are you talking about me? <laughs> or the casino asset. I'd like to think the casino. Or the cathedral, in fact, is a legend of city skylines. Let's be honest about it. Definitely is an origin, anyway. <laughs> Hard Rock Casino. Ooh, I like that, Jay. I like that. Are people wanting to, I've missed this in chat then. Are people wanting to see the casino in the rocks? I can't see I, I can't see anyone other than Jay with his hard rock casino, which I do like, yes. I'd like to see the island of the mad lunatic doctor and laser guard dogs. Oh yes, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Uh of course Diaxis, did you send me a message? Did I respond to you? I didn't. I will get back to you after this stream. I did see your message. I was right in the middle of something. I completely forgot. Yes, this is the lunatic doctor island. <laughs> For those of you who remember, we've got these like crazy little doctors in front of this house. Um, yeah, and then the skipping girl out front is somewhat creepy, actually. <laughs> what she's doing that little skippy movement yeah there are some mad doctors all over the place over here and there's some out here as well yeah with armed police i mean what's what's going on in there pretty sure there's one out the back yeah just guarding the door it's quite a creepy oh yeah with the beehives that was <laughs> yeah it's quite a creepy place people do actually walk around the fountain area dad like i don't we, yeah, we haven't revisited this this is all used and they walk around the little circle here as well so really pleased actually with how this turned out um yeah, with our giant inflated fountain and the... It was the little fountain spurts, wasn't it? People we were debating about. <laughs> oh, goodness, I remember as well the blue... Um, I placed in the blue marble and you were on about the blue stone and I didn't realise for ages as well. I remember that bit. That was, <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. But yeah, here we have it. This is the, the Mad Doctor Island. Did we put one in here? Yes, we did. We hit a Mad Doctor in the boathouse. I just remembered that. Yeah. Yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere yeah i really like this area and then oh wasn't it a girl spray painting the horse or something like that i oh, know she yeah no i changed it up for someone more reasonable didn't i oh he was the horse whisperer as well yeah that was it oh look there's lots of people visiting here now welcome welcome to the the mad lunatic asylum island <laughs> with a nice playground as well <laughs> encouraging people here just to lock them away in the asylum it was a little bit backwards this build wasn't it i think it was bored out of the fact it was halloween when we did the stream <laughs> and that was it <laughs> he's guarding the bees yes exactly yeah <laughs> casino on the rocks oh that's a good one hard rock casino does sound pretty snazzy where's dave Ullman? yes we all want the casino in the rocks all of us okay dave oh do you that's a rolly face does dave actually want the casino in the rocks i need confirmation i need confirmation from dave Ullman, considering it's his island and then we can try and uh, fit it in now why not? Oh, Jack, welcome in. Hello, oh my God, one year of Oridan. Can't believe it's been that long. I know, neither can I. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well, Jack. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, Zed Hawaiian as well. Welcome in. Hello. Honest question. Do Australians actually celebrate Christmas? I think they do, don't they? It's just summertime. <laughs> 
Should call it Shattered Island. Oh, that's a nice name, XE. Didn't we call it Das Island? I'm pretty sure we gave it to Das because he was the first red super chat that came in on that crazy stream. Oh my God. Oh, you know what? I didn't even honour David Shot and Edward, Edward Bickford. I feel like we need to, I feel like we need to do something else. For, so both of you, Edward Bickford. Wait, Edward Bickford. Did we, did we name something after you already? Did we name something after you? I'm trying to think now. I cannot remember. David Shot does have the Or area, which is the Shot Glass Company, because he is a Patreon as well. If there's anything else you guys would like in Oridan, please let me know immediately. Um, I feel like we should we should honour it. Do you want an island? That that got other people islands on a previous stream, so let me know. Let me know. Let me know. We can sort an island, certainly. I need I need to say like an insane thank you for that because uh, crazy, crazy red super chats. Um Dave Ullman, yes. Okay, right, we want it. All right, let's do it. Here since episode one club. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um uh where are we going? I have an island next to the uni. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, of course. The observatory island. I knew you had one. Do you want another one? <laughs> you're welcome to it. Like, seriously, you're actually welcome to it. Tracy Island, because you know, I like that. Um, and David Short as well. Let me know. Let me know. I'm trying to think like if there's anything we've already got that's a substantial area that we could name. We have got the crazy farm, this side of the farm that we haven't named yet. We obviously this side is Jennifer Farmer's farm. Are there any other districts we haven't named? I don't know. Unfortunately, I'll have to catch the rest of the stream tomorrow. Enjoy the reminiscing, everyone, and congrats again for you. See you. Good night. Oh, thank you, Malay. Thank you for popping in. <laughs> thank you. Ed's Observatory. I know. How could I forget that? How could I forget that? Um, how about something in the new city or franchise the glass factory? Oh, I like that. Yes, we can franchise the glass factory. Yes, David, that's a great idea. Um, yeah, of course, you could absolutely have something in the new city. Yeah. Oh, Martin, hello. Happy one year YouTube anniversary. Thank you all for the great video. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, yes, you can absolutely have something in the new... In fact, okay, I think we've got, we've got Brad. I need to write this down. I need to write this down. We've got Brad, Edward Bickford... <laughs> Um, and David, who are going to get something right off the bat in the new city. I will do it. I will do it. It's gone into the notebook now. It's law. <laughs> oh, you could make a castle mini golf build in the next city, only if it fits the city. Uh, it would have to be a certain style of castle, but we could absolutely do that. <laughs> Oh, Jack just wanted to pop in and say hi. I've got to go back to my coursework. Oh, no, we'll be watching the one later as usual. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for popping in. Shots, chocks, chocolate factory. Oh, that's a good one. Like that. Yeah, we could franchise out the glue. We could definitely franchise out the uh, factories, couldn't we? Right. Okay, let's turn this back to daytime and get this uh, casino in. My goodness, we're like way into the stream. <laughs> this, is this is definitely going to be the do the least stream ever. Right. Anyway, anyway, I hope it's still fun. It's 124 of you still here. So hopefully we're doing okay. Right, this one, we've got a bowl off the trees on this now. Like, I was going to leave them, but they're no good. So, um, yeah, they're just going to cut into this casino. Same with this one. So let's remove all of those. Okay, so how... I'm, th I'm thinking this has got to be the place where I don't really want to put it right up with the Sphinx, like I said, but I think this we can make work. So we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to get rid of a lot of stuff here. Is the overgrowth in as a prop? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Just wondering if this actually isn't maybe the best place for this. We could, oh my god, David Charles Tag with the 10 pounds super chat. Very well done on a fantastic first year FUC. Oldham has become a legendary build. Oh, thank you so much. Happy New Year to you to all. Oh, thank you so much for the super tag. It's a legendary build coming from the legend himself. Like <laughs> it's crazy flattering. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. You've got two builds in it. You, you, you if, if you want to call it legendary, a part of the legend, <laughs> a massive part of it. It'll be so much inspiration. Thank you so much. And I hope you've had a lovely Christmas and have a wonderful new year. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Recap video titled Flustered Candy Part 2. That might be it, Paul. <laughs> um, 
I feel like a disaster response unit. So it should be utilised as some kind of government building. So that is actually one build I forgot about, is I did want to do a kind of like MI5 style out of town spy type area. Do we just bob this all off? Let's just bob this all off. I can't be bothered to go through and work out which one's which. So, um, okay, yeah, let's just get rid of all of this. This will hopefully clear out the front of the casino here. Um, yeah, I do want to do kind of a government spy type build actually in Oridon, kind of out of out of town spy style area. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, we will we will come on and do that. We will come on and do that at some point. That had actually been completely forgotten from my list right then. But yes, that will happen. That will happen. Okay, this is actually a driveway in, isn't it? I'm just thinking, I don't know how we're going to get this to work. Can I... I can, that, that fence isn't bubbleable, is it? Uh, no. Yeah, no. So we've got to remember, we've got to get access. Oh, I'm bobbing all the rocks now. Uh, we've got to remember, we've got to get access into the front of here. So this could be tricky. This could be tricky. Got so, so much overgrowth to move out of the way, yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got clear access there. Right, let's... Oh, no, that's my cliff texture thing. Okay, so let's get... Are they in as props? Yeah. Let's delete out these from here. And I do want to actually put in some more, I think... Is that a tr that's a dead tree there, isn't it? <laughs> so what is that part of? That must be part of a rock. Just got to figure out which rock now. Uh, oh, goodness. If I move that, it's not that. Okay. With that, where is this dead tree coming from? Is it still on this one? It must still be on that one. Fallen tree. Okay, there we go. Well, that was easy. <laughs> is that. Can you actually just bob the entire rock? Oh, it's a small rock. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> that would be a bit pointless. Remove everything from a rock asset. Okay, right. So we're going to have to cover up these tables and stuff like that, which is fine. We can do that. We could do that. But I think that that is okay for the front of it for now. It's not really... Is it sunk in? Is that really what the front of the casino is like? Is that really what it's like? Is there no, like, grand door? I don't think I've ever noticed that before. That's really... It looks like windows, right? Where are they meant to go in? Is that genuinely what it's like? <laughs> I don't even know. Someone can tell me if they know if it's like that. <laughs> um oh deacon welcome in yes peeps are still here still here i don't know why because i'm not doing a lot. <laughs> not doing a lot we're just reminiscing and having a good time i didn't get that cider in didn't i but that's all right that's all right <laughs> it's fine it's better off without it <laughs> i can I'm slur in my words without a cider so I'm getting too excited okay yeah i'm really underwhelmed by the front of this casino if that's actually genuinely what it's like i'm like quite disappointed actually by this asset now i thought it was quite a nice asset up to that point Right, let's get in. Let's get in. Let's give it a door. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something here. I feel like there should be more to the front of this building. But we're going to add in a nice triple glass fronted door to it at least. So there we go. And we are going to continue that cliff section. This is going to be a very odd casino. <laughs> this is not going to be like any regular casino. Let's, yeah, continue that on round. Okay, and then we want to get in some nice rocks into here. So I'm thinking we will use our same rocks as we used over most of this, the sinkable style. So we just need to find the right ones that are going to cover up things like those tables nicely. That might work. Kind of want, do we want to see half the dome, maybe? Maybe. Could move this asset back a little bit and reveal the dome mm, no actually do you know what I'd, yeah I, in fact that asset isn't too bad there to be fair let's just make sure it's covering up the back of that casino okay and then we can add in some more around it so this one that is quite nicely covering up the tables and gives us quite a nice diagonal entrance into here i think i may have to bob off those high tiles because we're just going to be seeing that sneaking through which i don't like there's also a fountain over there 
a large fountain, even though it's absolutely minuscule, I would add. Um, yeah, it's high tiles, isn't it? Let's get rid of those then as well. Okay. <laughs> this, this could look really bad. <laughs> this could look really bad, but we're going to go for it. Um, so I think, yeah, these have nice flat frontages to them. So I think we can use those. We could actually try and have the dome sort of sneaking out of them. So if we can lower this down a little bit, have the dome kind of peeking out around the rocks. And you know, this is all like trial and error to try and get this right. <laughs> but we can get there. We can get there. So yeah, we could have... Okay, so that's... That's covering up the front of that. I think we need one kind of skinny one in the front here. So there's a little bit of the dome peeking through. I don't know how we feel about that. Hmm, don't know how we feel about that. Okay, we might have to use the mega sinking rock to cover up the front of this. Uh, which I can't seem to see right now in the dark. In the dark shade? Is that this one? Is that, that's the lighter version, isn't it? Why can I not see that? Am I being really slow? I think I am being really slow. Let's just let's just use this one. That's fine. It will do the same thing. Yeah, this one has a nice small top, which is what I was looking for. <laughs> so we're gonna sink this down and just use the tiny, tiny top bit of it. Uh, and yeah, go a little bit further, and that will just cover up the front bit of this dome. I think potentially we need it around this side as well. Actually, if we can kind of get the dome into a nice circle, then I'll be happy. But I don't think it's going to be super duper neat or anything. So let's copy that. Yeah, we can use this to fill in this section here around the dome. So that can actually go quite snug in. I'll copy up that bit. It's a slightly different colour rock. Oh, I'm being really thick. I just can't find... Oh, there it is. That is it. <laughs> just can't find that version of the dark one. Right, anyway, we've put those in now. Let's not go back. Let's not go back. <laughs> okay, we're going to sink this one down to cover up this end of the casino building like that i don't know how are we feeling about this <laughs> do we like this right let's copy this one and we're going to sink it down so it goes underneath and this will cover up some of this wall back here let's spin it a little bit so it looks slightly different and try and get rid of that tiny bit that was sneaking through yeah that's all right um yeah, how do we how do we feel about this? <laughs> uh, I think it's all right. I think it's all right. I think we can get over it. Um, this one's got quite a nice flat top. I'm trying to find the flattest top we've got. This one is not too bad. Is that the one I've used already? I think isn't it? It's a little bit slopey. I think this one's the one. Which can then just sit behind the front entrance. In fact, do you know what? That's just covered up the entire dome, hasn't it? <laughs> I think we'll cover up the dome. I think we'll cover up the dome. Then we can make it a bit taller. So all of that time that I just spent doing that was complete waste of time. It sounds a little bit like the tire stream, right? Okay. How do we feel about that? <laughs> this is like the Isle of Hidden Secrets. Dave, I'll <laughs> something like that. <laughs> oh, EMB, welcome in. Happy holidays. Um, a few kind of esteemed guests. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yes, hello. Happy holidays, EMB. Hope you're doing well. Casinos have small doors and no windows because they don't want people to track the passage of time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that could be true. That could be true. Can we change the colour of the casino itself to fit in better? Uh, that's a good point, actually. I don't know. We can give it a go, for sure. If I get off me a bit. Um, yes. Yes, we can. <laughs> uh, do we want it, like, what do we mean, like, darker? Well, something like that's not bad, is it? It's a little bit more hidden. Do you know what I feel like we need here? Let's see what it looks like at night. I feel like we need some after dark lights. Uh, not that. I want to do this one. I feel like if we've got a casino here, we need a little pop of colour around the casino. 
Dave wants the dome. Oh no, sorry, did I miss that? You know this casino has many underground floors. Probably the building when the umbrella court first started. Dave wants the dome. Open dome. Okay, open dome. All right, we'll change it back. <laughs> we'll change it back. <laughs> Dave has spoken. Um, it was these two, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Um, we could, I mean, we could potentially leave it like that. I think this little one I really don't like, so let's delete that. We could potentially leave it like that. Yeah. With the open dome. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Um, but I think then, yeah, I think we should put some after lights, after dark lights on this. <laughs> no, the Orido teal lights. Can you not use Bob to flip the rock onto its end to get the flat side? Um, you can't use Bob to, you can't, you, um, you can't flip the main asset. I don't think. I'm just wondering with these rocks because they're modular, like potentially. So if I go to this one, yeah, no, yeah, because the rock themselves isn't a prop, so we can't move it with Bob. But otherwise, yes, you could. Yeah, yeah. If it was like a small rock on an asset, then we could definitely do that, but not like this. Um, but that's a good shout. Yeah. Teal lights, yes, the the yes, the Orodome. <laughs> Orodome. Uh what the ugly the ugly waterfront Orodome. Was there a different Orodome? My goodness, there's so much in the city, I'm getting lost and lost lost track of time. Um and we're literally doing <laughs> nothing on the stream other than chatting it. You'd have to PO it exactly, Deacon's on it. Yeah, you'd have to PO it, but I don't have PO. If you listen to my podcast, you'll find out why. <laughs> I talk about that. I'll talk about that on the podcast. I'm gonna push it again. It was so much fun. That'll do, Pig. Who are you calling, Pig? Actually, <laughs> What's up? I want Dunk. Welcome in. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year to you too. Um, let's do some after dark lights. So let's do that. Okay. We want light. Um, Jen wants teal. What what colour does Dave want? I feel like I feel like Dave's leading this. Oops typing in there uh we can we can have it we can have some multicolors. how do people feel about that it's so bright like that I, li I like the sort of downwards one can we get it to let's turn the prop snapping on we could do some teal lights A hidden base for the alien snowman cult. We could definitely put a hidden base in here, yes. <laughs> yes, we could. Not calling you pig babe, okay, that's alright, Exley, thanks. <laughs> calling me babe though, that's weird. <laughs> um the podcast was so cute to listen to. Oh, thanks, Jen. It was so much fun. It was so much fun to do. The teal does go really nicely with the casino lights, doesn't it? I agree. Yeah. Maybe lonely rock climber on top of that huge rock looking out to the sea would work. That's that's quite a that's quite a funny idea. I wonder if we can do that actually. Should we just do some teal? Let's just do some teal around the casino then. Teal and gold. The gold doesn't really show up that well though. The uh orange ones. Oh we could do some gold up lights. Let's do that. A couple of little gold up lights right on the corners of the roof here. Okay, let's have a little look at that. Yes. Yes, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Should you say small? <laughs> oh, Domino, welcome in. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, Free Candy. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Um, might be worth Rico and making that a dummy on the island. Or the island will be swamped. Um, I don't think it'll be too bad. Like we've got so many unique buildings across all of Oridan that I don't think like having the two on this island is going to make too much of a difference, to be honest. I think I think would be okay. I think would be okay. Um, what was I just thinking about the rock climbers? I like that. Let's just put it back to daytime. Okay, so I'm wondering if we can get in, if we can raise this up like sort of above the rocks, then this could be quite cute. So let's go for buildings. Oh, these are all buildings. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, if we can kind of, this is going to impact the landscape, which is then pulling up this. But if we can get the, see that's still connected there. And we've got, okay, right, let's, we need to shift this over a tiny bit. I think we can get this to work. That was a great idea, whoever that was. Oh, no. Oh, they're going to climb down into the rock here, this red dude. That one's just sitting on the rock, though. 
Can we do that? Is that too is that too obvious? I will move this one, don't worry. We'll get that dome back back in shape. There we go. That's better. Um oh we've got the buildings there. <laughs> we need to, we're gonna have to get some more rocks out. My goodness, this is turning into the rock stream. <laughs> Uh, can we fit this one in? That'll probably go in quite nicely, actually. Let's bring this down. Let's cover up this bush there. Yeah, okay. I'm not. I'm. I'm not hating this. I'm not hating this. I think this might work. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a dude sitting on the rock, which I don't know what they're doing. They're literally just chilling out on the rock. Or is it a lady? It is a lady, isn't it? Yeah. In like what looks like work attire, frankly, as well. That doesn't look like she's ready to go rock climbing, does it? And then this guy's climbing. Yeah, I like that. I think we could do that. Oh, Edward Bickford! <laughs> two, the two dollars super time. Oh my god. PSA, please don't forget to like to, to forget that like button. Thank you so much, Edward. Yes, if you guys are enjoying it, um hitting that like button is super, super appreciated. Thank you so much for the super chat, Edward. That's uh, that's really kind. It's really kind. Um, Oridan is a bustling city in the world of city skylines developed by few candy located on the shores of a beautiful ocean. Oridan is known for its stunning natural beauty and rich history. Oh, pull. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's really nice. Um what was this I just sort of calling you pig babe lol babe is a pig. All oh, right. Maybe few is too young for that one. I'm not too young for babe, thank you Ian B. I think that was the first film I ever saw in the cinema actually. <laughs> I was confused then. <laughs> oh, that'll do. Pig is from the film, babe. Yeah, do you know, I do. I do remember that film, just not that well. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Right. Okay. Are we happy with the casino and the little rock climbers? I kind of don't mind this platform too much. I think we can kind of get away with saying that's a platform that people have put in specifically to go bouldering on this very specific boulder. Um, I do need to clear my throat though. Oh goodness. Um <laughs> right, so so let's just have a little progress track then, have we? Shall we? Um is there anywhere else that anywhere anywhere else that anyone would like to visit? We have built something today, which is a casino. I've got absolutely nothing to put in the thumbnail, so I might just leave it as the generic one year anniversary stream thumbnail, because that's pretty much what it has been today. This area has not been touched. <laughs> Sarah's literally not been touched and I'm just thinking it's now eight minutes past nine. I don't think it's worth us starting it now. <laughs> we will get onto this. The next stream is not going to be a reminiscing thing. It's going to be a business, strictly business stream. Um, getting Oridan to the end and tidying up the loose ends, which is this is obviously now a big part of it. So we will get that. <laughs> and I also need to now come in and tidy up. Yeah, this, this little bit. If you've got anything else you'd like to see kind of snuck in, I guess actually really in this space mainly because the rest of it's not too bad now this is quite low here we just need to do some detailing around here Could put in some more um of Dioxus's homeless assets certainly um into this area would go quite nicely but if there's anything else you guys want to see here let me know i've also just remembered as well there is also this area which i was going to put a kind of commercial area in but if you've got any specific ideas of what you'd like to see then you can see that also actually i was just remembering this this you would not have seen because i did this all off camera um, and then completely forgot to show it off. I did it ages ago, but I haven't quite got the colour green <laughs> right, granted. It's a bit too green, but yeah, I did manage to make the cycle lanes dedicated around this this roundabout, and I think it worked out quite nicely, cutting through the fillers. Just spent a couple of hours messing around with intersection marking tool and all of these roundabouts, and yeah, I think it, I think it paid off. I just need to get that green right. <laughs> but yeah, you guys would never have seen that because I've never shown it before, so there you go. <laughs> Oh, here we go. We've got 12 rocks for climbing, 11 up lights lighting, 10 points for proposing. The fest Oh, the festival. You want to go see the festival, yeah? Let's go see it. I'd love to be able to find Travis Jesus Brown's tent, but I just can't remember which one it is. Still on Weaver, aren't we? Like, it wouldn't be great if it just popped up now, Travis's tent. I'm pretty sure we renamed... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I had a moment then. <laughs> literally, literally had a moment then. Hang on a second. I might need to pause this. Travis the second Morgan just because I can't believe I actually just clicked on a Travis then that was like too crazy Piper Walker wasn't that didn't we have a Walker the other day they've all got the same names I already may be a little bit inbred <laughs> 
everyone's got the same name. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could find Travis's tan, but to, alas, to no avail. Anyway, we've got Travis the second Morgan there. <laughs> A cathedral and a castle. Someone's going to have to write this down in one little thing for me, otherwise I'm not going to be able to sing it back to you if it's all um, disjointed across the chat. <laughs> oh, Riley Owens, welcome in. You made it. You did make it. You did make it. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing a lot today. We're just reminiscing and fixing little things and doing little odd jobs, yeah. I could just, like, watch the festival, yeah? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's definitely less busy than it was. Obviously, we've got loads more in Oradon now, so the tourists are spread pretty thin. Actually, one thing I was going to show you guys, and we can look at it now, um, is I've no really, I've not really any idea what. Where is the tourism thing? Uh, I've not really any idea what good tourism looks like. Is this one, isn't it? But there is a yeah, this attractiveness is at eighty eight percent, which I feel like is quite good. <laughs> I don't know, like most of this city is a tourist haven, basically. Apart from like maybe around the original areas, uh, Wood Woodhaven and things like that. I think even Dodgy Rocks. Oh no, Dodgy Rocks, no, Dodgy Rocks has no, no it does have, yeah, that's it. I did, I did, I did think there was something there. Even Dodgy Rocks has some tourist attractiveness. <laughs> but yeah, when you look at the festival, these are attracting many tourists. So it's not even like light, like the, the um, leisure and various different commercial things like that so that's why we're getting so many here because it's literally like a whole absolute shed ton of them um yeah it's pretty mad we're still getting quite a lot on the walking tours and things like that as well um and actually on transport yeah we get far far more tourists than we do residents on transport which i'm not sure if that's usual or not but there seems to be an awful lot of tourists anyway in oradon that was the point i was going to make so this is slightly less busy because they're spread, spread across the city now. Um, uh, what have I missed? You should put a halo of lights around his tent. We should. I'll, I'll have to find it. I'll have to find it and then I'll light it so I mark it so I know where it is. <laughs> Just love to have this on in the background for your laugh. Oh, no. <laughs> I think my laugh's are awful. Oh, my God. <laughs> I bet even Skidmark Junkyard has tourist stuff in it. I wonder, actually. Should we go and have a look? Yeah. We can go and have a look. Where's the tourist button now? I've got to remember which one it is again. Um, where's skid marks? No, no tourist attraction in skid marks, actually. They're all safe there. Yeah, they're all safe. <laughs> this was a hilarious stream if we we're reminiscing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, this was the first stream where you nearly broke me. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. I can't even remember if I said skid marks first or if someone in chat did. <laughs> I was talking about this style of road anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. I can't remember. Well, that, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. And Dodgy Rocks. Okay, yeah, we haven't gone to look at Dodgy Rocks. Let's definitely go and look at Dodgy Rocks. Because I added the red light in, I think, after the stream. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> get a little first person down into Dodgy Rocks. Uh if I can get that low. We've got a random car park there. I'm pretty sure I banned the car park and we've got floating undergrowth, but what a place to be, hey? You can imagine, like, coming down here to pick up your drugs to go to the toilets in Rocky Horror Park, wasn't it? <laughs> to do naughty things in the toilets in Rocky Horror Park and there's dead bodies in the bottom of this pit. Yeah, let's not forget all the lore. That stream was crazy. That stream was crazy. I think that's probably added the most lore to Oridan ever. Dodgy Rocks is kind of infamous now like i'll always remember dodgy dodgy rocks associated with oridon um let's go and let's have a little look at nighttime view that was so fun it was so, so much fun yeah there you go with the red light it gives it a certain sinister look doesn't it <laughs> would you want to be hanging out down by this fire pit down here oh, oh my goodness we're getting too close i can't control the camera when i get that close there we go just have a chill out down here. Actually looks quite nice. Actually looks quite nice. And of course we've got the Lockside Quarry and then yeah, Rocky Horror. <laughs> the Rocky Horror Park. We were talking about the relationship between dodgy rocks and the toilets here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and then yeah, we come down here. Why have I got a red light? Oh, it's the campfire. Oh, I love this little bit. This is genuinely still one of my favourite little bits in Oregon. This just little remote tent. Oh, where am I exiting? Remote tent down here by the water. Yeah, I like that bit. And of course, let's not forget um, Monument Park as well. Monument Mount. 
There was a lot of innuendo on that stream. One thing I'm absolutely gutted about is losing the live chat for that stream because you guys were hilarious. There were so there were so many innuendos, like far more than I think we've ever had since, actually, um, in terms of dragon mounting and, of course, lowering the hedges. Oh, my God. I should, before the end of Oridan, I should come in and replace this all with prop hedge so we can lower it, but we'll have to see. It'll take a lot of time. <laughs> Someone needs to start a wiki. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, John Robinson, welcome in. Merry Christmas to you. Hello. Um, nonsense, I can listen to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Steph. <laughs> and a bobbed partridge and an apple tree first. Okay, right. Have you got the 12, get, get the 12 days of Christmas or 12 days of few candy Christmas down for me all in a cohesive chat thing. You can discord it to me if you want, if that's easier. Um, and I will sing slash read it <laughs> there's a cabin on this hill oh my god there is yes wasn't it by one of the fountains or was it in one of the yeah it's here it's here there it is there's the alien guy like hey oh look at that view with the fireworks oh yes this guy's like what was it i can't even remember i'm gonna try and do an overcharged egg impression no i'm not no i'm not take that back <laughs> i'll take that back, that back. It wasn't it the guy who's like landed and he's sort of like lost in the bushes without any clothes on or something about that. <laughs> oh, Siobhan Williams. Let's not forget about Siobhan Williams. Yes, that was legendary. Yeah. The first ever resident of Oridan. We've had quite a lot named Williams after that, didn't we? It sort of initially started off, didn't it? And then it kind of tailed off into other things. But the Williams name will always live on. <laughs> it was Bill, Bill Air, Williams Point, wasn't it? it was, yeah, loads of stuff. Um, The Bill Watts uh, power plant as well was Williams related. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Have you named a house for you to live in? That is a very good point, Jay. No, I have not. <laughs> no, I have not. I don't know where I'd want to live in, Oridan. Can I live in the tax office down here? I quite like this. This would be nice. This would be nice. I'd be able to climb up into this little tower and have quite a nice view of the downtown from here. Yeah, I think I'd probably live in this tax office if I was allowed to. If I wasn't taxing people. Yeah. I think all the big all the big mansions went, otherwise I'd live over here for sure. <laughs> give me give me this little villa any day. <laughs> which one? I can't remember which one was my favourite now. Is it this one? I do like this one. Yeah, this one with the little palms in the middle of the tree. Oh, and then you get the view. Yes, this is the one. This pergola. You get the view out to Exe Castle. The uh the the monument mount. I think can you yeah, you can just about see the Statue of Liberty from here and then you look across to the downtown over that side. Yeah. Yeah, that would that would be my house. But I think we gave it we gave it to someone else. <laughs> I could share it with them. It's a big house. Or Jennifer Farmer, there you go. Jennifer Farmer, can I share your man mansion? <laughs> or I'll have the tax office, either or. <laughs> um, am I doing the Expo screenshot competition results here? I haven't even done the vote yet, actually. It was closing today, so um I won't, but I will right after the the stream i'll put up the latest challenge entries um into the discord for voting so if you're not on the discord come and join us i'm sure when the month can put a link to it in the chat uh, and we can get voting on those in fact actually have you kind of you've all been voting anyway haven't you we've all been putting hearts on. i'll do an official vote though we'll get up the um we'll get up the holy moly reactions yeah and we'll get that going so i will potentially announce that in the next video if not the next stream so it depends on schedule because this week's a little bit all over the place so there may not be a regular video this week but we'll get back to normal next week i may do an extra stream instead potentially i've done the 12 day song that was in chat read up okay right here we go okay do, do you generally want me to to sing this <laughs> oh no there was four more at the beginning of the stream. Wait, is this the full one? Is this is this the full one? I was gonna say this is one of my favourite downtown views. This is what I was gonna come and show you. Um we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wrap up in a second, but right. Um people get mad just having my shady tunnel we <laughs> It's before the stream started. It should be twelve months of few candy. Oh, 12 months of few candy, yes. It's the one that Karina put the official version of we <laughs> I can read. I got. I'll read it anyway. Okay. I, I, I can't sing it though. Oh my god. I can't, really can't sing. <laughs> You're gonna make me sing on stream. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Twelve rocks for. Twelve rocks for climbing. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't do it. I'm going to die. This is going to break me. Okay, I'll try and do it. But please don't like criticise my singing. I know I can't sing. <laughs> 12 rocks from climbing. 11 up lights lighting. <laughs> 10 points of proposing. Uh, 9 gens of spamming. Yes, I love that. 8 tens of burning. 5 golden eggs. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hang on a sec. Wait. We're missing 7 and 6 there, Karina. Are we not? <laughs> Like, I can't do it. I can't do this. Um, wait, are we missing seven and six? I need the full version. If anyone's got the full version. <laughs> um, <laughs> or the ones that I'm missing, then I'll sing it. You're singing with me. Okay, right. I'll sing out loud. I'll sing out loud in a second. Um, happy holidays. Wish you all happy new year. Happy holidays to you as well, Floyd. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's face it, none of your videos are normal. Yeah, that sounds about right, Jay. I've still got this hat on and I'm actually like boiling hot. <laughs> um, oh, right now, inspired by you and CPP, I've started playing City Skylines again. There's so much more to learn than when I started playing in 2015. Oh, good games come on so much since then. Yes, yes. Oh, well, glad, glad I can uh, give you some inspiration. Um, our very own Leona Lewis, was it? <laughs> Um, I can't actually scroll up right to the beginning of the chat now because it's too late into the stream. Six flustered farming, seven fl fluster made islands, six flustered farmers. Okay, right, hang on a sec. Right, let's let's go back. Where's Karina's thing? Okay, so we got. Oh, I'm gonna start again. <laughs> Twelve rocks for climbing, eleven up lights lighting, ten points of proposing, ten nine gens are spamming, eight tens are burning. Seven flustered made islands, six flustered farmers, five gold eggs. <laughs> oh wait, where's th where's three? Well, four, three, two, and one. I'm still missing them. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still missing them. Right, please don't turn this into a clip. <laughs> I can't remember what the other four was. What was it? And a. Uh, uh, Dodgy, Dodgy Rocks was the first law. I've just scrolled up to see that. Yes, it absolutely was. Right, anyway, there we go. Five covenants. I got you. <laughs> you got me. Have you got me? I can't see the other ones. <laughs> okay, right. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to have to call the stream there. Do we want... Do we want... Um, uh, do we want a festive outro music? Three attempts to build the farm. Four snowmen hiding. Okay, right. Okay, right. Four, four snowmen hiding. Three attempts to build a farm. Oh, four dodgy rocks. Oh, that's good. Should we do two dodgy rocks? Oh, there's only one. Yeah, there's two dodgy rocks. Three crazy streams. Oh, I like that. How many dodgy rocks are there? I think we can get away with two dodgy rocks because we've got Rocky Horror Park. This is the quality content I came in for. I hope you find loads of inspiration in your city buildings from this stream, everybody. Like, lots of tips and tricks and inspiration for you today. <laughs> two iron grandpas. Ooh. Two governors watching. Oh, I like that. Should be one lord awaiting. <laughs> two Travises. Yes, two Travises. Oh, yes, there was actually two Travises. And one eggsy mount. Okay, right. So, wait, we've got... Four dodgy rocks, three crazy streams. Okay, right, hang on, right, here we go. Okay, I'll give it one, I'll give it one more time. I'm really embarrassing myself right now. This is totally out of my comfort zone. I hope you guys appreciate it. <laughs> but why not? It's been a year and you guys are mental. And so I'll go a bit mental for you. Okay. Twelve rocks for climbing, eleven up lights lighting, ten points for proposing, nine gens are spamming, eight tens are burning, five gold. Oh no, wait, I missed it. Wait, eight tens are burning. I need the whole thing together. Seven fluster made islands, six flustered farmers, five golden eggs, <laughs> um, uh, f four dodgy, oh, four snowmen hiding, three crazy streams, two dodgy rocks, oh, two traverses, two iron grandpas, and one eggsy map. <laughs> Right, we're done. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're done. Oh, and a partridge in a bobbed pear tree. Yes, there we go. Okay. I can't sing. I'll never do it again. That's the one at any time. Right, we're going to call it a day there. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for sticking with this absolute mentalness. This is definitely more mental than the last three. Oh, my God. Um, For, yeah, two hours now. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you for the round of applause as well. Oh, I'll take a little bow. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, this is such a great community. Like, I can't even, like, I'll give a little, like, speech. Like, I literally, yeah, I'm just so overwhelmed by all of the love and crazy support from all of you over this whole last year. Um, and what a funny little stream to round off going into the second year with as well. That was, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> you guys are like cheered me up massively. So thank you all so much for sticking with it. Thank you for all of your support as we go into year two of YouTube. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, as always, like I love all of your ideas. And like like I said, Oridan would not be the same without all of you guys. Like there's just so much input. Like I can't, I mean, pretty much every build that I do has got some form of input from you guys. Uh, and I just, you know, I'm I'm so grateful for it. I would not be the same without all of you. Uh, and particularly like the you guys in the Discord as well. Like it's gone crazy in there. It's so active in there now. It's such a lovely community. Really building like a nice group of friends. Like it's really wonderful to see and it just warms my heart. Um, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to all of you. Like, yeah, thank you. And I really, really, really hope you've had a wonderful Christmas, a happy holidays, and go into 2023 with a, a really happy new year. Um, just want to say a massive thank you to my patrons as well for all of their crazy support across this year too. Um, including all the little candies that aren't on there. Um, and oh my goodness, yeah, I think i think we will leave it there i'm not gonna host anything else at the moment because i can't think of what to host but what i will host actually actually yeah what i will host is my podcast again um so go and check it out it's with game of friends uh big nakrumah who's a big part of this community as well is on the discord um big supporter uh he's one of the game of friends and they interviewed me it's really funny i had so much fun doing well so it's really funny i think it's funny <laughs> you can make up your own mind about it but i had so much fun doing it so go and throw them some love check out their podcast it's great if you're into games as well um and that's it oh i will um yeah i'll see you again soon <laughs> Let's give a little shout out to people who are here. So we have had um, Karina, Eggsy, Jen and Egg as well, all modding. Thank you so much. And Rich, oh my goodness, and Rich as well, all modding. Thank you so much um, for, for modding you guys. And we've had uh, Edward, Edward Bickford, uh, Joseph, Bren, Diaxa, Sinister Plot, uh, Fenir, uh, Jude, Frederick, Max, Starstuff, Douche, John, Dave, uh, David Schott, yes, Riley, um, Diaxis, uh, Edward Bickford again, uh, Edward Bickford, you are insane, $300 super chat, my goodness, yeah, yeah, the whole of the next city is going to be called Edward Bickford City at this rate, <laughs> thank you so much, that's insanely generous, and I will tell you what I get for my new house with it, um, who else have we got, we've got uh, Riley, Phil, um, Jay, Paul, Tina, everyone, Andreas, love you all. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Oh, likes and comments are really appreciated. I will say that. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>